Creating digital stickers has become one of my creative hyper fixations lately. There are so many ways that you can use them. You can use them in digital planner apps. You can use them on your Instagram stories, add them to your Canva file library. So because this has been something that I have loved doing lately and also one of my most requested tutorials, today I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how I create digital stickers using the Adobe Fresco app. So go ahead and grab your iPad and let's get stuck in. Today we are tackling the tutorial that you guys have been asking for the most this year. If this is the first video you're clicking on and you have no idea how to use Adobe Fresco, I will link the playlist up here so you can go and watch all of my beginner tutorials. I have a bunch of videos already on my channel where I literally take you through every single button in the app so you have no more questions on how to use this app. So here we are in our little square document. First of all, I'm going to start with a blank sketch layer and we're going to quickly sketch out some really really simple icons that we can turn into stickers. I'm going to make these ones like social media themed so I'm going to do a little bubble one. I'm obviously going to make mine very kawaii inspired so I'm going to give everything a smiley face. I also am thinking like a little maybe like the like bubble notification on Instagram and then again I'm going to put a little kawaii face in here. And then the last one that I was thinking was, again, if I'm thinking about creating digital stickers, there's different things that you might use them for. For my stickers, I'm kind of thinking about, okay, I would use these on my Instagram stories or like to prompt my audience, like leave a comment or like with a new post, putting a little like on it, or again, like a new post little notification. Um, I gonna do it on a little flower, I think. So I like to have like flowers in my branding and then we'll probably put the text new post or you could do like new video if you like to post previews of like your reels or your YouTube content on your Instagram stories. So I'm gonna stick with three for now. There is our sketch layer ready to go. We are gonna create a new layer now. And then we're gonna tap on our layer properties and we're going to reduce the opacity of our sketch layer so that we can still see it, but that it's not distracting us from our final line art. Next thing that I wanna do is quickly bring in my brand color palette, which I actually have saved to my camera roll. And when you import a picture or an image or a screen grab of a color palette that you've saved somewhere else, um, Fresco automatically generates a color palette with it down here or you can also use like the press and hold on the screen to bring up your eyedropper or there's also the eyedropper tool as well. So I am going to use this cream color for my speech bubble. I'm going to switch to vector brushes. I'm just going to trace over my sketches uh, using my vector brushes and also using my fill tool here to fill in little gaps. Now I can go ahead and actually turn off my sketch layer because I don't need it anymore. So we can also toggle off the visibility of our background at this point because now we have like these block colors in, we can see our stickers uh, and we can, can start to kind of see how they're gonna look on a transparent background. The very last thing that I do wanna add in is my little kawaii smiley faces. So I'm gonna create a new layer again using my vector brush and I'm going to create a little kawaii smiley face. Now we have our three sticker design. So now it's time to get them ready for saving and exporting as digital stickers. First thing that I wanna do is group all of my elements, my layers together. So I'm gonna tap on this top layer and I'm gonna select the select multiple button. And then I'm going to just select all of the layers that have my sticker illustrations on them. 
and tap this little folder icon over here to group them together. Then I'm gonna just take this whole group and I'm gonna drag it off of my canvas. I'm actually gonna just merge the layers into one flat layer. I'm gonna grab my lasso tool. I'm going to select one of the stickers and then I'm going to use this transform button to actually move this one sticker back onto my document and resize it up as big as I can. And we wanna have as little negative space around as possible. So let's try and take it all the way to the edge Obviously this particular sticker design is a little bit wider than it is taller. So we're gonna make sh sure that we have it as wide as we possibly can go without touching the edge of the document. Gonna click done, deselect. And now I'm gonna tap my save and export button. I'm gonna tap publish and export, and it's going to show me a preview of my sticker. Because all of the other elements are off the edge of my document. It's only gonna save the part that I have now moved onto my document, which is super handy because I can save one at a time while only needing to have one file on the go. I'm gonna tap the export as button. I'm gonna make sure that PNG is selected from the format drop-down menu. If it isn't, tap on that arrow, select PNG, and then we're gonna give our file a name. So let's call this one Kawaii Chat sticker. Then we're going to tap export. Now you can choose where you want to save it. I'm going to actually save this one to my camera roll. So I'm going to tap the save image button, but you could also save it to your files. That's one of the stickers done. I'm going to now repeat the process. Okay, now all of my stickers have been saved to my camera roll. So there's a couple of ways that you can use your digital stickers, as I mentioned at the start of this video. If you save them to your files, you can open them up, or if you save them to your camera roll, you can open them up in digital journaling apps, like GoodNotes, for example, is a really, really popular one. You can also add them as custom emojis to messages if you're using iPhone. You can also do the same on Instagram, or you can do something like if you're using Canva a lot. This is something that I do a lot of the time. I create like little characters for my Patreon Wallpaper Wednesdays and I love then taking the different characters that I've created and turning them into stickers with like transparent background and I actually add those to my brand kit on Canva where you can have like all different graphics and icons and when I am creating Canva templates or even when I'm designing like YouTube thumbnails I can use my own digital stickers from my Canva brand kit and add them to my designs that way. One of my personal favorite ways to use digital stickers at the moment is actually the Instagram stories cut out feature. So I wanted to show you really quickly how you can do that. I'm going to open up the Instagram app and I'm going to tap on the little plus here to create a new story. So first of all, you can see in my camera roll, the little preview of my stickers. I'm going to go ahead and just like select a picture from my camera roll, pretending I'm doing like a little Instagram story. And then I'm going to tap on the stickers button up here on Instagram stories and I'm gonna select cutouts. And then again, it's gonna open up my camera roll for me and I'm gonna select this first little chat button and it's going to create a cutout. And you can see that it like basically scanned the image and now it's highlighting the section around where my sticker is, showing me what the sticker is gonna look like and then I can tap use sticker. And it's gonna add it as a little sticker to my Instagram story. And you will have just seen a little pop-up window, a little pop-up message there at the bottom. What I really, really love about the cutouts feature is every time I create a new cutout, it saves the last cutout to my cutouts. So let's go ahead and do the same one with the new post sticker. Now I've got a little sticker. And then also we're gonna do it for the little like sticker. use sticker. So let's imagine that I have posted this Instagram story with all of my stickers and then later on I want to use those same stickers in another post. So maybe I have just done a new post on Instagram and I want to share it to my stories and I want to add those little stickers that I created around the edge. 
So again, I'm gonna tap on my stickers feature here, stickers button here on Instagram. Now, when I scroll down under all of my sticker options, you'll see your stickers and you'll see those three stickers that I just created. I can also tap on this see all button and then it's gonna show me all of the cutout stickers I've created. So you can see I have created a lot of cutout stickers using different like elements from my branding, little icons I use a lot, experimenting with different illustrations that I've done. Some work better than others, obviously it's not perfect. Um, but then I can select my stickers that I made and then I can put it here on my Instagram story. And it's a really fun and easy way to add like your own brand stickers to your Instagram stories. And that's it. That is how I use Adobe Fresco to create digital stickers and how I add them to my Instagram stories and use them in lots of different ways. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, be sure to click that like button, that thumbs up button. It really helps YouTube know that you're actually enjoying my videos and also helps it suggest these videos to more people like you who might also want to join the Cozy Creative community here on YouTube. Speaking of the Cozy Creative community, if you haven't done so already, this is your little reminder. You can click that subscribe button and turn on that little notification bell as well if you want YouTube to let you know when I upload new videos. I would love to know if you are gonna try out creating your own digital stickers and what kind of digital stickers you are planning to create or if there's any digital stickers that you would like like to see me create, please let me know in the comments. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial. I know that a lot of you have been asking for it for a really, really long time. So I hope that it was exactly what you wanted. I will chat with you guys in the comments and I will see you in the next video.